Ventilation perfusion coupling is an important concept because it refers to the amount of gas that can effectively participate in gas exchange at the lungs. Now, ventilation refers to the amount of gas that's moving into and out of the alveoli that can participate in gas exchange. Perfusion refers to the amount of blood moving past the alveoli that can participate in gas exchange. And we want it to be as matched as possible. What that means is we want the V being ventilation to match the perfusion Q, not sure why it's Q, to be as close to one to one as possible. Meaning that if a football game just finished and a thousand people leave the stadium, we need enough buses to take those thousand people away. Too many buses, it's a waste of buses. Not enough buses, people are gonna be left over. That's the analogy for ventilation perfusion coupling. Now, you know that in the alveoli there's gonna be oxygen and carbon dioxide, and the oxygen levels in the alveoli are higher than the blood vessel, so it diffuses down into this blood vessel. And the carbon dioxide levels in the blood is gonna be higher, so it diffuses out into the alveoli to be breathed out. Now, think about this scenario. We have a blockage of the alveoli and it could be a multitude of alveoli blocked by mucus, for example, in chronic bronchitis. What that means is this blood going past. Carbon dioxide is going to be brought out, so carbon dioxide levels go up in, this, in these alveoli, but the oxygen moves out, so the oxygen levels go down. Now, interestingly, low oxygen levels tell the blood vessel to constrict. Now, interestingly, the problem here was a drop in ventilation because of the blockage, but the response was a drop in perfusion. So it matches, perfect. What's happening in this scenario is you've got a blockage of the blood vessel this time, so the perfusion has dropped. What's gonna happen in this scenario? Well, gases can't effectively exchange. All that's happening in this alveoli is gas is moving in and out. So the alveoli is gonna have the same concentration of gases as the atmosphere, so you've got increased oxygen, decreased carbon dioxide. And interestingly, the decreased carbon dioxide tell bronchioles to constrict. What's gonna be the result? A drop in ventilation and it matches. This is ventilation perfusion coupling.